Okay, so now we're going to look at how we can divide three digit numbers by a one digit divisor. I'm going to use the same process that I use for two digits, but this time I'm just going to do it for three digits. So, have a look at my first example here. I've got 291 divided by 6. So I start by looking at my 6 and seeing how many times it fits into 2. Now, because I know that 6 is bigger than 2, I can't actually fit it inside it. So put a zero up here to show that I can't actually complete that because 6 is bigger than 2. Now I look at combining those first or the hundreds column and the tens column. So now I'm looking at how many times I can fit 6 into 29. So I have a look at my times table chart and I find my 6 times tables. And I'm looking again to see the number that's closest to 29 without going over. So as I look across and I scan across, once I get to 30, I know I've gone past 29. So my, the closest number is 24. And 4 times 6 is 24. So I know that 6 fits into 29 four times. And because 6 times 4 is 24, there's 5 between 29 and 24. So that means that I need to carry that 5. And I actually put that 5 down near that 1. So now it gets a little bit tricky. But I'm following the same process again anyway. So I'm now looking at how many times 6 fits inside 51. So once again, I'll have a look at my times table chart and find my 6 times tables again. And this time I'm looking for the number that's closest to 51 without going over. So as I scan across, I can see that once I get to 54, I've gone over 51, so I go back one and I get 48 and I can see that 6 times 8 equals 48 so 6 fits into 51 8 times but I know it doesn't fit into 51 8 times evenly so I know I've got a little bit of a remainder so there is 3 between 48 and 51 so that means that I have a remainder of three there. I'm going to do the same thing again with my next example, which is here. So now I'm looking at 319 divided by 5. So I have a look first, and I can see that 5 doesn't actually fit into 3. So now I'm looking at combining the hundreds and tens column and seeing how many times 5 fits into 31. So I have a look at my times table chart, find my five times tables, and I'm looking for the number closest to 31 without going over. And I can see that that number there is 30. Five times six is 30. So I've got my zero up here above the three to show that five doesn't fit into three, but it does fit into 31 six times. And because five times six is 30, there's a remainder of 1. So now I'm looking at how many times 5 fits into 19. Once again, have a look at my times table chart. And I can see that 5 times 4 is 20, so I've gone over. So the closest is 15. So it fits into 19 three times. But because 5 times 3 equals 15 means that I have a remainder of 4.